Good morning, chaps. Good morning. Welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. Last time we started the game, and uh, yeah, it's nice to actually have a bit more sort of motivation for what we're doing. Not that I really need it, to be fair. I mean, just give me any excuse to go around collecting monsters and battling them, and I'm, I'm happy as Larry. But uh, yeah, we got a bit more sort of backstory for the uh, for the character here, Sorrow, and uh, his, his current plight. We are currently... Bomb boulders deep in the tutorial though, and uh, like I said, I've played through this in the demo So my plan today, I would love to maybe get up to where I got to in the demo. I think that's probably quite doable uh, But we're still in this area We've just got ourselves a big chicken and there is another monster over here that we've not technically seen yet. So let's go say hello And uh, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the first episode Huge, huge amount of support for it. Really chuffed, chuffed to bits. And uh, this, this is one of my favourite designs as well. The, uh, the caps are chum. <laughs> let's, um, let's see if we can scout it. Obviously, we do have uh, a monster in our reserves now, actually. So could I, could I swap them in if I wanted to? I think I probably could. And I love, I love turn-based RPGs that let you swap your party in the middle of battle. That's always been. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of that, thanks to uh, FF10. Any other game that I play after FF10 just was like, really, I can't swap them out? Are you kidding me? Um, but I think we'll probably we'll probably keep what we've got oh, then again. I mean, I might swap as much as the slime is iconic. I'm going to swap in Foggy for a little bit, because I think he's maybe just a little... Yeah, he's a little bit more powerful. Not much. He is level 4. Uh, so, confirm. And can I just say, I really like the, the battle screens, the, the dynamic with the camera, the menus are nice and clean, and... Yeah, let's see if we can scout this, uh... Yeah. This peppery... Um, pal. <laughs> 41%, that's pretty good. They do look very angry. Oh, but they're only irritated, so we can have another crack at it. We're gonna have another crack at it. Uh, also, I have tried my best to note down people's requests for monster names, whether they gave me something specific or not. I, uh, again, hopefully won't disappoint too many people, but it is entirely possible. And, well, we, we killed it anyway. Is it going to join us, do you think? Maybe not, but it'll give us some XP at least. There we go. Old Muddy and, and Bunnycorn. And I guess we've got more talent points to spend. Oh, well, I think we may only get talent points every couple of levels then. Foggy's got some, so let's have a look. Hulk. Oh, you know Helm Splitter. I like that. Damages a single enemy and occasionally lowers its defense for four to seven turns. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, or we have the Debilitation Ducker. But no, we're gonna we're gonna go for that, I think. Now, we could obviously only put in three points if we wanted to, but I think I'm I'm gonna, you know, want to learn Slime Squisher eventually anyway, so might as well. And, uh, there we go. Sadly, the Capsa Chum didn't want to be my chum. I'm quite sad about that. We've got, uh, what could be vines over here if it was spring or summer, I should say. So, that's gonna be something cool, revisiting areas in different seasons to see not only different places you can get to, but also, I'm sure, different monsters as well. Um, just a bunch of... Oh, we got a Drackey! Oh, I gotta get myself a Drackey. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Do you want to be my friend? You're a bit... A bit high up. There we go. <laughs> oh, we love it. We love a Drackey. Now, I wouldn't think this thing would be too difficult to scout. Drackeys usually aren't that difficult. They're very much... Like all of these entry-level monsters. Um, let's give it a try. Now. Oh, yeah. No, I think we're pretty much... Oh, 100%. First 100% of the game. You're one of us now. You're one of us now. Love it. Draki. Um, right, well, since I do have a list of, of people to name monsters after now, um, I think we'll call this... Now, of course, we may we may end up 
getting rid of some of these monsters if we fuse them, which I'm, I know is a, is a mechanic we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, so I feel like I want to save naming monsters for monsters that I feel like I'm going to use for a while, but just for the, the sake of the start, uh, the start of a few videos, I'm going to call this one... Uh, we're going to call this... Alio, a longtime supporter of the channel. There we go. Oh, no, not Ali, Aliol. No, 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 no. God damn it. <laughs> I, I suck at the Switch controls, even, even after six years of owning the damn thing. Right, we got some leaves. Have we actually found anything in the leaves yet? I feel like we haven't. Um, another medicinal herb. No, don't worry. I know. I know it's medicinal. <laughs> I had a comment. I, I, uh, it's it's a joke. Shout out to my friend Mersh, another huge Dragon Quest fan. And uh, yeah, a lot of Wobegines just napping, which I can totally relate to. I just, I love those things. So we'll have a mooch around still. I don't know if there's any more items we can find. Keep an eye out. Um, as far as I remember, I don't, I don't recall any new monsters in this area from the demo, but you never know. Oh, the Wobegine was hiding in that pile of leaves. You sneaky, you sneaky Wobegine, you. Anything up here? Just another bunny. Ba -da -da -ba. I think they're still, ch you're still chasing me. Wow, okay. Okay, this is very orange, isn't it? Oh, I see an item, I see an item. Let's go grab it. It's another medicinal herb. Very, very good. Probably a good thing to get a bunch of those at this early point. And oh, another capsule chumel. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can scout you now that we've got an extra level or two. It suddenly attacks. Yeah, I just I feel like their existence must be just constant agony. Although it really do they really know how to stick together. <laughs> Scout, let's go. But yeah, I can't I can't wait to uh, get a bit further in the game and start you know fusing monsters because that was one of my fa it probably was my favorite thing in Monsters Joker when I played that uh, about a year ago now I think it was. We really can't seem to scout these things. They just don't want to be my friend. Which is very ironic, considering their name. That's uh, still a decent chance, come on. There we go! That's it, guys. Persistence. <laughs> Persistence, if you're trying to make friends with someone, all you got to do is just, you know, be very, very aggressive with your uh, intentions. Don't, don't let them have any moment's peace. Just barrage them with, with, uh, with friendship, and eventually they will like you. That's definitely not the case. Right. I don't know if I'm going to call this after anyone in particular, although I have just deleted the name, so I guess I have to now. Um, we'll call this one... Um, we'll call this one Peter. Not after anyone in particular. I just... Uh, I just want to call it Peter. There we go. Although, really, it's two two monsters in one, isn't it? So... Should be Peters. Peters. Peterson. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Right. We've got more leaves over here. I, I do think that waterfall looks really, really pretty. Very much a fan. Oh, it's just another blooming Wobegine. That's okay. Uh, we'll quickly grab that. So that's probably just... Probably is just a bunch of medicinal herbs around here, isn't it? That's okay, though. Again, gonna be super useful. The music's lovely. It's just, again, I know I keep saying this, but Dragon Quest is just so freaking cozy. It's very wholesome. And uh, it just kind of brings me back to simpler times. Playing games like this growing up. Mostly Pokemon I'm thinking of, but... Uh, just something about a JRPG. Ooh, it's getting chilly. And the whole thing's blooming frozen over. Oh, it's cold in winter. And the water's frozen solid. Oh, hey, I bet you could walk on it. 
No problemo. No problemo. I just love how positive she is. Fizzy, can you be my, like, real life friend? I feel like my, my general mood would be constantly just... Ah, oh, so much better. Wow, what a sight. The waterfall's turned into a block of ice. I wonder what's in that cave. I think we're gonna go find out, Fizzy. When you're done exploring, let's slip under that arch and see what awaits us beyond. I see what you did there. I see what you did there, because we're going to be literally slipping, because it's ice. Very good. Very good. And as we've already seen with the monster names in Dragon Quest, the, the, the pun game is just always on point. We got new monsters. It's calamari kids. These things are incredibly cute. Always kind of feel bad about, you know murdering them, but, uh, let's see if we can scout one. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and catch every monster I come across. You know, if, if I see a new, mon new monster, it's, we're gonna go for it. We may not use them, but, um, you know, add them, add them to the, to the roster. Calamari Kid. I think, uh, I think we'll just keep that as it is for now. Because I do feel like a lot of these monsters probably won't be around for too long, depending. What's going on over here? Those little lights just appearing out of nowhere. I feel like they're they're pointing me towards something, but I don't know what it is. Don't know. I don't know what what's going on with that. I don't. I don't really want to go that way just yet. There is a new monster there, though. Oh, it's one of the. Is it one of the anteaters? With a really, oh, with that real, oh, that tongue is kind of, we'll see him in a minute. Let's go check out the cave. Also, during winter, there's no music for some reason. I would have liked maybe a more wintry version of the theme, but that's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's an item over there as well. Let's quickly go grab that. And in the meantime, so I don't know if you can guarantee like a sneak attack if they don't notice you before you uh, run into them. Uh, it's an ant guzzler. Right, so what I want to do is probably um, try and take out the calamari kids. Foggy. Uh, just to show off helm splits, it will do that on, uh, on the ant guzzler. I'm guessing that's probably not going to kill it. Stump jump, attack the calamari kids, and bunny. Um. Uh, defend because we're probably probably good enough there, I'd say, and then we'll then we'll scout. Um, let's go. Some really cool animations as well. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that butt stomp! All right, calamari kids down, and let's uh, let's go for a scout. Oh, 66.7%, nearly a, a pretty uh, spooky number. <laughs> Why the long face, mate? Why the long face? Right, Ant Guzzler. I'm going to call you... Anthony. Anthony. There we go. Your party is full. Please change the party lineup or send someone to the depot. Right. Um, I think... I think we're probably... As much as I don't want to... I'm sure we'll, we'll have many slimes in our party eventually, but I think I'm going to swap... Uh, swap the slime for... Anthony there, and slime can go back to the depot. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna... Which one was it? I think the, the Stump Chump can heal eventually, or he's got... I'm sure he does. Um, I might just... I'll stick with that team for now. We'll definitely be swapping them in and out, though, I'm sure. Over the course of the game. I'll try and show off as many as possible. What if we go over here? It's not gonna be just more... Monster shit, is it? No, it's a pretty pebble. Alright. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. 
Yeah, what are these things? Are they just guiding me to different places? Not actually sure. But yeah, it's blooming cold in real life at the moment. It's been uh, regularly below zero here. I'm sure, although I'm sure in many places, you know, like Siberia, it's, people are like, huh, minus, it's just below zero. I, I, I sunbathe in that weather. Yeah, it's pretty cold, but I like it though. I absolutely freaking adore this kind of weather. It, uh, I, I am much more in my element. And so you won't hear me complaining about the temperatures only in summer. Only in summer do I just completely bitch and moan the entire what, four months that it lasts. Right, let's check out this cave before I uh, bore you anymore with any more commentary. Now, just more calamari kids by the looks of things. Uh, th yep, there is a chest in here. Another pretty pebble. What is? What are the pretty pebbles used for? What are they used for? Uh, small stone that can sting quite sharply if thrown. Oh, it's a it's a battle item, right? As is the. <laughs> You can throw shit at enemies. Literally. I love it. Um, or, n or night soil, if you want to call it that. If you're into Drancos Builders 2. Um, right. Let's have a quick check, actually, because um, there's a few more things we can look at here with our monsters. We've got, obviously, the stat screen that we've seen before. Uh, but if you scroll across, you can see their, uh, their current talents. Traits. So each monster is going to have... Uh, a set number of traits that we unlock as we level, and uh, for example, the Mud Mannequin has Kragmeister, increase the potency of Earth Elemental Attacks and decreases their MP consumption. Well, that's good, but we don't have any of those abilities yet. So, um, that's pretty cool. Also, we have... Oh my gosh, wrong, wrong menu. We have uh, Strengths and Weaknesses, which again, is very Pokemon, isn't it? Very Pokemon. In fact, I think I mentioned this during the demo. I don't know when the first Dragon Quest Monsters game came out. I think it was possibly before Pokemon, but I, again, I could be wrong. It doesn't matter anyway. It's uh, it's pretty good stuff. We got resistances uh, to ailments and different elements and types of attack. So I'm probably going to suck at remembering all this stuff. I really am. And we have a family tree, which I'm sure will come in to play once we do start... Uh, Fusing our monsters. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, three single vials and uh, a back attack. That isn't a back attack, it's just a regular calamari kid. Well, I'm afraid, buddy, you are done. And uh, yeah, my uh, my monsters are kind of doing, doing their own thing, which is fine according to their uh, tactics. And no, no, no levels up there. That's fine. All right, let's get out of this cave. The, uh, the waterfall cave. I'm guessing you just can't get in here during the other seasons. The cave behind the fall water. Don't throw things down the fall water, chaps. Don't do it. Right, yeah, it's, it's very eerily quiet during winter. I kind of want a bit of music back, so uh, we're just going to make a beeline for our next... Story points, and it should be spring again very soon. So I definitely got as far as this in the demo, and I think I did, um, yeah, I, I, I got quite far in the demo. I think I played it for like nearly two hours, so we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can catch up. Another pretty pebble. Let's get back onto, uh, dry land. It, well, technically ice is dry. I, I don't know. Oh, another Drackey wants a piece of me. Not today. Not today, Zerg. And... Actually, can we, uh... Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, so, uh, pretty good map here, it seems. We're pretty close to where we need to be. Obviously, a few more places we probably could go and check out. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna head over to Fizzy. If 
we don't get attacked on the way, which we might do. Oh, I love me some winter, though. Yay! Music! Oh, it's the flowers! And here we are in spring again! Wait, have you seen the size of those flowers in the river? I bet you could climb aboard and ride one. Why not give it a try? Go I'm, with the flow! Go with the yeah, I mean, why not? Anyway, why not? That's about the size of it. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. You've seen it all now! As the seasons change, so does the world around you. Even the cast of monsters. His year out fun, I tell ya. Oh, I'm sure it is. So I don't know how quickly the seasons are going to change in this. Because I, I feel like for the sake of the tutorial, they really sped that up. I, I'm, I'm, oh, well, not 100% not confident in that, because I've never played this, but yeah. I feel Let's like... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Back to the topic of monster wrangling. Yes. You pass the audition with flying colours! As a reward for scoring the role, let me teach you a handy little spell. Oh, please do. I don't think I know which one this is. Ah, <laughs> shake that tail. We learn the zoom spell, which is basically fast travel. Definitely the most useful spell in Dragon Quest, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, we get it nice and early. That'll let you return to any place you've already visited quick as a flash. He's sure to come in handy. You're not wrong. Now that's a wrap. See you back at the village. Okay. So, Fizzy's gonna leave us for a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but we're not going to head straight back to the village. We are going to jump on this flower and see where it takes us. Uh, ZL is the zoom screen. There we go. Rose Hill, Champion Cascade, Gradley Grasslands. Let's jump on this, shall we? If I remember correctly, it takes us to a little secluded area that may have an item. And, uh, oh, in the top right, I think we've got an actual, like, uh compass showing the uh, the current season and I'm guessing that will slowly revolve oh, we're just slime sleeping and a new monster I recognize these things I forget which game I recognize them from but I do recognize them the very that's very green press ZL during battle to double the speed yes I love it when turn-based games have speed up function because let's be honest sometimes it can be a bit of a slog, especially during grinding, so very, very happy about that. Uh, and we can make them actually, like, we can also battle, which is cool. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna try and scout the Feral Ball. Yeah. Does it have three? It does have three eyes. That's actually quite unsettling. 100%, baby. Didn't even need the bunny corn. Didn't even You're need it. Now. And, uh, yeah, as far as the Feral Ball goes, I'm not going to mess with that just yet. And it's probably, it's probably going to go straight to the depot, although I wouldn't mind actually having a look at its stats. Can, can you check? Oh, monster menu. No, nope, wrong button. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Monster info. So, what can it learn? That's the question. Gust Slash. Okay. Uh, nothing... T I mean, I'm sure some of those abilities are good, but for now I'm not too bothered, so you can stay in the depot. Right, and more medicinal herbs, I'm guessing. Excelente. Oh, I think I thought one of the... Oh, it's another Vegan Dragora. Let's grab one. Let's grab... Did I just run into the wrong monster? Oh no, we got both. We got both. That's fine. Right, let's see if we can scout this thing, which is just adorable. Ooh, I mean, if we fail this one, I'm going to be very, very, very surprised. There we go. And uh, <laughs> we we have dibs. Someone's called dibs on a vegan Dragora. And it's going to be... Titania. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Titania. 
Now again, this thing may not be around for too long, but I can always rename other monsters after people if we uh, end up getting more powerful versions of these, but uh, for now, I think that's correct. I'm so sorry if I'm misspelling it. Let's go. And since that's a new monster, we'll quickly, uh, quickly have a look at its abilities. Oh, this one also has Sizz. Okay. Um, and things like HP. Auto, auto Restorer. For 150 talent points, bloomin' heck. Um, yeah, we'll pop you, we'll pop you on the bench for now. Or send the Calamari Kid. Okay. And so, yeah, when you scout a monster, it just ends the battle, I guess. So, bear that in mind, I suppose. Got some slime sleeping over there. I think this is all there is to this area. It's not very big. Um, not very big at all. Is there anything around here? Oh, there is. Again, probably just another medicinal herb. And some... Bu oh, no, we've got a chest. We've got a... Ch oh, no, moonwort bulb. They usually... I'm... Um, Remembering correctly, they cure paralysis, and we did get single files which restore MP. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, Moonwalk Bulb cures paralysis. And more monster munchies. And can I just say, I think the Dragon Quest chests, these red and gold ones, they might be some of my favorite looking chests in games. Just because they stand out really well, they look very inviting. Um, yeah, I just, I like him. Uh, what, what, what are people's favorite chests in video games? Oh, <laughs> because, uh, you know, it's an important design, really. You can't just plonk any old chest down. It's got to, it's got to look right, hasn't it? Anyway, grab probably another herb of some kind. Another new bulb, very good. I do, I do like the water in this game. Kind of reminds me... Well, it's not really the same. In fact, it doesn't look anything like it. But the Wind Waker water, where it's highly stylized. Looks nice. Right, where are we now? Over on the other side of the river. And there is luckily a fallen tree making a bridge. I guess. Oh, that's a new monster. Oh my god, it's a Caterpie. Oh, you look... Killer pillar. <laughs> you look actually kind of scary. Um, I imagine you might be quite tough. I don't. I yeah. All right. Let's um. Let's use. We'll try. Well, yeah. We'll try. Uh, we'll try monster munchie. And then we'll scout. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow. Oh, way easier to get. I mean, I don't know how much of that is the monster munchies, but... Oh, we still failed. Are you serious? I suppose that was like a one in four chance of failing. And that, that thing could definitely poison us by the looks of things. Um, let's give it another go. Come on. Hey, there we go. You're one of us now. I like you. I, I might, I might put you on my team. You know, killer pillar. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'll stick with that because that is a really good name. And let's have a look at your info. So yeah, level two. It's um. Okay, hive mind. Oh, it's got buff. Yeah, you know what. That's increase in defense and snooze as well eventually. I do like that. Looks like it's got a lot of, uh, yeah, ailment inflicting abilities. Paralyzing punch, fuddle down. Yeah, that might be good. Looks like he's going to be a bit of a bulky boy. HP and defense. Yeah, I think you're going to be added to the team. Oh, in insta buff. Monster sometimes casts buff on itself at the start of battle. Ooh. 
I like the sound of that. I think having a bit of a tanky monster. Obviously weak to fire and explosions, being a caterpillar, that makes sense. Um, good against electricity, water and earth, and anti-magic. Sleep and paralysis as well. Okay. Um, yeah, we're pro I'm probably going to put you on the team, you know. I reckon I'm going to pop you on the team. Uh, instead of... Instead of the bunnycorn. Killer pillar. Right, yeah, that's a monster I definitely didn't see in the demo, I don't think. I'm just going to run around here. Grab whatever this is. More of those. Medicinal herb. Now I'm guessing we can't uh, we can't swim. No, we cannot swim. That is fine. Doodle 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 doodle. So, well, actually, unless I do want to do a bit more exploring, although imagine we'll, we'll be back here at some point anyway. Look at that. Interesting uh, geology going on. I think we'll just uh, we'll just zoom back to the to the village. Zoom! Zoom! Love the, love the zoom sound effect. Oh, that actually loaded pretty quick. All right, let's. Uh... See what's going on in town, because I didn't really fully explore it, and there's a well, which we have we in Dragon Quest you always have to check the wells. By the way. You would do well to listen to me there, chaps. I almost forgot to tell you. Any new critter you scout when your uh, traveling party is already full will be sent to the monster Yeah, I already know that, mate. You'll find the monster depot in the paddock, uh, where which you can get to from the teleportal in the middle of the village. Oh yeah. So, basically the PC box, uh, to use Pokemon, Pokemon Terminal G. You can zoom, uh, come and go as, uh, talk to Zachary if you're keen to hear the particulars, I'm sure I'll be okay. Alright. Oh, and there was something else, actually. Pop by my shop later and I'll explain. Will do, Monty. We might, we might as well just go and have a quick gander at the paddock. Oh, Fizzy's there as well. Any monster you befriend can now be sent to your depot. Depot is where your monsters are kept when you're not using them. Um, head there to move monsters between depot and your main party. Okay, okay. Hi, Fizzy. You're a star, babe. Oh, thanks. You'll be a monster wrangling A-lister in uh, one day. Mark my words. Oh, and by the way, Monty's got something he's dying to share with you. Yeah, I'll go chat with him in a bit. We've got an inn here and a kitty. Yeah, let's let's now just fully explore the village, just in case there is anything we can find. Um, do I need to? I guess I do need to rest at the inn to heal my monsters. Are they going to stay at the inn too? Uh, yes, please. Oh, looks like I don't have to pay since I live here, which yeah makes sense. Uh, your monsters have been fully healed. There we go. All right, and there is a pot. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. Stole you. I, I broke your pot, and I took the five gold that was in it. Uh, very, very, uh, very sorry. Oh, it's raining! Hey, weather effects! And the music goes away as well. Ooh, I like me. I do like me some rain in video games. Alright, let's check down the well. Let's hope the well doesn't flood while I'm down here. Okay, well, we've got pots, but also someone's just chilling down here. 30 gold. Yes. Uh, the elves used to live n near a little village in the northwest, but that was a great long time ago. But then the humans came and drove them out. It must have been a terrible time for their kind. Any reason you're down here, uh, old lady? Maybe middle-aged lady? I don't... I don't know. You might actually be like two years older than me in real life. I have no idea. I'm getting so old. I hate it. Up we go. So at least we got a bit of cash now. I don't know if we've got enough to buy anything. Because by the looks of things, we can get accessories for our monsters, which I'm sure 
are going to help us out. Oh, I did check out that house, didn't I? Um, but I didn't really look around too much. Oh yeah, it's weird when it's... I'll tell you what, I do I do like that uh, that sky. It, it makes me it makes me feel right at home. Uh, oh, this was my house. Okay, that was my house. That was the inn. Uh, there's not many buildings in it. It's a pretty small village, isn't it? In it. Pretty small village. Let's go in the bank. Uh, oh. Does, Mon <laughs> does Monty uh, run the bank as well? And uh, I got a random nun. Long ago, a divine being strayed from the path of righteousness and birthed a truly terrifying beast. It's said that the creature slumbers somewhere to this day, just so you know. Ooh, maybe a super boss? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Oh, nothing in the pot, though. Nothing in the pot. Uh, Monty? Monty? The way he scuttles to the counter. What do you reckon? Uh, I'll do, Sorrow. Uh, I hope uh, you turn up. Fizzy tells me uh, you show real promise as a monster wrangler. Like father, like son, I suppose. Your old man being Randolfo, the tyrant, master of monster kind and all. Well, yeah, you'd think you'd think I should be pretty good at it. Now, I recall you saying you wanted to get even with your old man one day. Are you still dead set on revenge? Oh, yes. I see. Mm, I'm gone. I think I know just the thing. What you need, lad, is to enter your first monster mega brawl. Ho ho ho! Now I did have a taste of this in the demo. I definitely got that far. Very excited for this. Way off to the west of here, there's a big town called Endor. Endor, yep. Yeah. And well, not not the Endor chaps, uh, but yeah. If you again, if you play Dragon Quest Four, that's where monster wranglers go to test their metal in the heat of battle. I reckon if you were to make a name for yourself there, your dad might just sit up and take notice. Hmm. Maybe. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The path I'm proposing is a perilous one. Are you ready for this? Good luck. Yes. Now, without further ado, let me make the necessary arrangements. You do that, Monty. I like Monty. I'd love to have a pint with Monty. Ta-da! This here's a handy teleportal. <laughs> It'll take you to Endor in a jiffy. Teleportal. Oh, right, okay. Um, I forgot to go to the paddock. I was going to do that. Set your sights on winning the Category G contest, for starters. I know you'll do us proud, lad. All right. So we're off to Endor. But first, we might as well quickly check the, uh... Check the paddock. Ooh, that classic Dragon Quest noise. I love it. It is so eerie without any music, though, I must say. I'm not used to Dragon Quest not having music. Look at my, my monster chums just chilling in the rain. Not much going on. <laughs> not much going on. All right, Zachariah. Oh. Ah, you've arrived. Hey, Sorrow. This paddock here is my pride and joy. It's where I tend to monsters, you befriend. From here, I can also help you swap out about the monsters you take around with you. If you need to access any monsters sorted here, uh, stored here, just give me a shout. Right then, no time like the present. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I need to bother too much with this. Um, you can select monsters as your favourites, so they're easy to find, very good. I'm pretty, pretty content with my current team, I'd say. Again, we'll probably will swap things around eventually, but for now, that will do. Oh. Take care on your travels, lad. Uh, I will do. Let me check. Is this your house, uh, Zachariah? Is this where you work? Do you have any? Do you have anything inside it that I might want to take? I mean, borrow. Doesn't look like it. Ooh. Oh! New, new, new season! It's now summer! Hey! Cool! Right, so definitely 
They don't last too long, but that's that's about right, I'd say. Because you don't want to be ever like waiting too long for a change of season. Because you know, especially if you if you're in spring and you want to get to winter for a certain monster or item or whatever. Uh, that makes sense. Right. Well, it's still raining though. Um, let's uh, let's leave. I don't think there's going to be anything to find over here, is there? A nice little chill area though. And weirdly, you know, I played um, played Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. That game also kind of centered around a son and and father's very dysfunctional relationship. Um, interesting similarities there. Right to the Colosseum, Gladiator. Let's uh, let's start making a name for ourselves. And the music's back. Oh yeah. See, whenever I see these guards, I just think of Dragon Quest XI. That, that helmet is very, um, very helmet-shaped, isn't it? This is Endo Coliseum. The monster Mega Brawl is in full swing. If you're uh, keen to take part, have a word with the lady at the reception desk. Will do. Will do. So we do have uh, a bank here. I very rarely use banks in Dragon Quest. It pretty much, you can store your money. Because if you die, if you game over, you tend to lose, like, half your cash. So, I just I just never bother. Also, I have 69 freaking money right now. That is very nice. Uh, we don't even have enough to deposit, though. So, no need to worry about that. Um, there is an inn here as well. Very handy. Any pots? Oh, we do have a well here as well. And what on earth are you? There are more kinds of monster treats uh, out there that leaves that leaves on the tree, but the best of all are beastie bites. No matter how prickly the customer, give them some beastie bites, and friendship is sure to blossom. Okay. Hello, a scholarly young gentleman. As you may or may not know, uh, parent monsters vanish after synthesis. Yeah, see, this is the thing. Which is why naming people, or naming monsters after people, they might not be around for very long. But I will try my best to at least, you know, cater to everyone's needs once. Uh, but do, do not be downhearted. You can rest assured that they will never forget the erstwhile monster wrangler. Very good. Hey, there's some pots. Ah, more single files. That Coliseum looks pretty impressive. And a chesticle. Strong medicine. Fantastic. Very, very excited to jump into the Coliseum, though. Let's freaking do it. Let's do it. Also, is this, um... Is this anyone important? Oh, are you a fellow monster wrangling novice by any chance? Just so happens that I made my debut not long ago. As fellow rookies, we need to look out for each other. So what do you say, chum? Have you got my back? Uh, sure. You're actually quite attractive, so maybe, maybe yes. I've got a chimera here. Squawk! I'm still weak as a hatchling, but one day I'll be as tough as Zangiel and Omniarch. Oh, the, the, oh Zangiel the Omniarch. I can't read. Are you trying to ruffle my feathers? There can't be anyone in Terrestria uh, who doesn't know the Omniarch. Okay. Uh, oh. Actually go upstairs. I think this is probably going to take us out to the Coliseum itself, isn't it? I don't know. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I think I remember coming out here, actually. In the demo. Don't know if there's anything to grab, but we can talk to a few people. Looks like there's a fight going on. Mustn't be a fight that too many people are bothered about. <laughs> there's not many people watching. Yeah, go on, get stuck in. At least that guy's enjoying it. There is a pot over here. Very good. And a bunch of booze by the looks of things. Another pretty pebble. 